Okay, so I just uh, made you the host. Now share your screen. Yeah, screen set done. One second. Yeah, actually, I told you regarding I have created a separate uh, database server and uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, see DDC. So mm -hmm. I'm unable to connect a DDC to the database server. Uh, Can you please guide me? No, no, that uh, do not power it on now. We will okay. take that later because it's still okay. few things are remaining for you. Correct. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So now go to the delivery controller. Because those are the additional things, correct? But okay. first okay. you have to understand the core things. Okay, no issue. Got it. And in the meantime, also uh, launch one of your virtual machines with the help of Citrix. Store okay. front URL. Actually, I have a desktop uh, Windows 10 OS mm -hmm. sing single session. Is it good? Yeah, it is good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so your machine is accessible? I'm just a moment. Yeah. Launch. Yeah, launch. Yeah, launching done. Give me a moment. I think. So in this session, we will learn how to deploy the policies with the help of Citrix Studio. Okay. okay. So you will get, I you know once you log into that machine, <laughs> open the file yeah. explorer, open the file explorer. So as you can see, the hard drives which are visible here is C drive okay. and D drive, correct? So, uh, yeah. but user uh, will be able to access the local drives as well, correct? As it's a client machine, right? Yeah, okay. So okay. we have to restrict the things like 
And now go to the uh, delivery controller and click on the policies. And now what we have to do, we have to deploy a policy to restrict local uh, network shares or local hard drives, correct? Okay. In that way, user will not be able to access or copy the data from virtual machine to physical machine, correct? Because we okay. do not want that thing now. <laughs> so as okay. you can see, okay. by default, one policy is there, correct? So yeah. uh, just click on create new policy. And just suppose uh, we are creating this policy for uh, restricting the hard drive. Okay. So in the search type a hard drive, just enter hard H A R D. Wait for it. No, uh, no, no, no. This is not the correct thing. Drives, just type drives only D R I V S. Yes, so <clears throat> whatever the policies which are relevant to hard drives, all those get filtered here, okay? So we have multiple policies. Those are pre-configured, okay? So first okay. one is auto-connect client drive. So we do not want client drives to auto-connect to our virtual machine, correct? So yes, click on the select and disable it, okay? Now, next one is if you do not want to allow any outsider print, uh, print service, so you can disable this from here as well. So again, go to the select. Right now it is enabled, just disable. Means from inside Citrix user, if user wants to print the document from the outside system connected. Uh, yes, from, from the virtual machine, he will not be able to print anything on his local printer, okay? Is it possible to connect? Is it possible to print a document from inside the VM machine to outside yes. a printer yes. which is connected yes. to the local host? Yes. Okay. Click OK. Now, client and drive redirection, we do not want. Again, disabled it. So what is this? Client drive redirection? Local, local drive redirection, like the same thing user will not be able to redirect to the local drives. Matlab, whatever the local drives are visible in end user okay. device, those are not getting listed on your virtual machine, okay? Okay, okay. Again, client fixed drive, those are allowed. Disabled it. Actually, by default, we have to disable everything. Only necessary uh, things will be allowed, correct? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it should be prohibited, right? Yes. Okay. And in the same way, you have multiple options. Okay. If you do not okay. uh, want to like uh, uh, floppy drives or fixed drives, correct? You can disable like optical drives. Disable each and everything. Everything. Yeah, everything, because we do not require no, any uh, data breach, correct? We do not want any data breach. Okay. This is not required, cancel this. Okay. Because we do not deploy any universal print server, correct? So okay. that is fine. Simply click on the next. Uh, all are selected, right? Except yes. the, those last. Yes. Okay. So now if you want to apply that particular policy, you can either select delivery group or client name, or you can uh, directly deploy that uh, particular policy to machines, okay. So first default one is okay. 
and so what you have to do you have to select all the objects in the site click on the second okay. option this one no no uh, from the top right hand side on all the objects at the okay. top yes click on next you can name that policy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, it's auto selected. I have not done anything. Edit policy and rename it. Okay. Mm, go to the summary. Simply click on next. Okay. Again, next. And name it for hard drive or HDD. Joby mention karna ho kar sakte. Okay. So click on finish. Oh, uh, check that box. Enable policy. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. I do it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. So okay. this policy is now enabled on your virtual machines. Okay. So in a similar okay. way, you can create multiple policies. Like again, go to the create new policy. Just suppose if you have to uh, make a policy for like you know network restriction and other kind of things. So thousand of policies are there. Correct. As you can see, okay. so no one can, you know, <coughs> uh, even I don't know the name of all the policies, multiple are there, we will select as per the requirement, correct? Okay. Because no one can remember that many counts, correct? Right. So you have to uh, do some R&D, like uh, if you type wallpaper, you know, simply on search, type wallpaper, Mm -hmm. Let's check the spelling. Okay, so here we have one policy for desktop wallpaper as well. Okay, so if you want to allow or enable or disable the desktop wallpaper, you can do that. Okay, so in a similar way, this is just an example. In a similar way, you can create thousands of policies like, you know, uh, look, the policies you have to create for particular team. Correct. So for right. every team, policies will be different. So right. in the same way, you have to uh, do some R&D and you can create thousands of policies with the help of that thing. Okay. Now simply okay. click on the cancel. Now from your left hand side, click on the logging just below the policy on your left hand side. <coughs> okay. So from here, what you will get, you will get all the details like which user account is logged in, what is the time, the starting session, the ending session. So far you are using single user only. That is the only reason why only single user is visible here, correct? Right. So who, whoever is connected to your session, all those logging details you will get here, correct? Means DDC, right? Yeah. Not in DDC, even in virtual machines. Okay, but here I can see only Citrix admin is I can able to see the user. Mm -hmm. So this is for your uh, that thing now, like uh, Citrix Studio, correct? Okay. So these are the logins for your Citrix Studio, like who is the admin and who uh, what uh, like activities that particular guy is doing, correct? So this is for your uh, console. Okay. Correct. Now go to the administrator just below the configuration. Close it. So as you can see here, so far you have one administrator only. Correct. So you can right. create from right hand side, you can create multiple users and you can allow them to use your uh, Citrix console. Okay. You have to search the group from Active Directory. Correct. This is a simple thing. In that way, you will be able to add few users. Just click on Browse. Okay. Let me add some. Just a minute. Let me add mm -hmm. a new user from here.
I select HR or IT. Now user is already there. Why you are wasting time? Select any. Okay. Actually, uh, uh, HR. Yeah. Click okay. okay. <laughs> Click on next. Now you can select a role for this particular user. Correct. If you want to make it full administrator, you can select like multiple things are there. So for now, just select a read only administrator. And simply click on next. Enable administrator is fine. Simply click on finish. Okay, so now you have one more user here for your console. Now go to the controller part. Okay, so from this particular console, you will be able to wait a minute. From this particular console, you will be able to wait a minute. Okay, so and just suppose if you have multiple uh, delivery controllers in your organization, okay. So you can, all those will get listed here and you will be able to manage all the delivery controllers, correct? Like okay. I'm talking about the DDC. Now go to the hosting part. This is for the hypervisor. So far you have only single hypervisor, which is Gen Server 01. So uh, as you can see from right hand side, you can add multiple hypervisors to this particular side, like add a controller. Got it? So if this have... one, right? Yes. Okay. Now go to the licensing part. So licensing is something relevant to license. So far you are using 30 day trial only, correct? And the okay. quantity uh, you have, like you can still create uh, 99 virtual machines with this particular license, okay. Okay. So in production, we always have a good amount of license, okay. So <laughs> this okay. is for your testing purpose only. Go to the storefront. So storefront is your storefront server. We have already configured it, correct? Just right. look and go to the app view publishing. So app view publishing, it is something relevant to uh, packaging the applications, okay? Or we can add okay. any Microsoft application server as well. So actually it's come, it is a part of L3 support, okay? Not for you right now, okay? Okay, okay. So you have okay. nothing to do in that. Now go to the Jones. Close it. So as you can see, whatever the details, the zone, the time zone, whatever it is, you will get those kind of details here. Okay. okay. And now go to your uh, Citrix storefront. So from here, you can view or change the store. If you want to modify storefront, click on view or change store. Actually, this is uh, HR and IT are the two storefronts uh, URL I have created, but I just want to delete the default one. So shall I able to delete one? This, how can I delete? So which URL you are using right now? Actually, I have using HR and IT. Okay, like so th th this one. Okay, so as you can see, just click on the default one. Yeah. And from right hand side, you are getting one option to remove store. Just blow this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Rocker <laughs> while removing a I store think, service. Uh, this might be in. Uh, Uses, I hope so. <laughs> Wait for it. Uh, click OK. Uh, click on the HR store. URL is fine. Click on the IT one. Hmm. 
so uh, do one thing set hr as a default okay then try to delete how can i set the default From right hand side okay okay set as a default not required now try to delete something is there like there might be some process which is using that store so that you can troubleshoot you can reboot the delivery controller then it will allow you okay if nothing is in use so this is the only option how to remove that thing okay so that you can troubleshoot now go to the server group Hmm. So whatever the servers you have right now, you have only one server. You, uh, I think you have not added the second uh, delivery uh, controller to this uh, store, correct? No, no, no. I have uh, just created a virtual machine. I have not installed anything in the second DDC. So, so shall good. I proceed? Yeah, please proceed uh, for second DDC. It will be time consuming. You can do that uh, in your free time, okay? Because I okay. have a call in next... Uh, five minutes okay so uh, that, there is the same is this the same thing same process yes yeah, same process but after creating that new uh, delivery controller you have to add the delivery controller into the existing site correct okay so i think uh, you might have remember at the time of uh, installation of Citrix virtual apps and desktop we always get two or three options over there like to join yeah starting yeah, yes, yes. To join in into starting the page. Yeah, yeah. So you have to select that option. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So do one thing. Just configure your DDC and uh, uh, do you have uh, another hypervisor as well? No, right now I have only one. So shall I create, a, create another one? How many resources you have? Uh, actually, I will delete the DB server if I, if you want. Uh, yeah, delete yeah. it. Oh. It is not required because we are not the you know <coughs> like data analysis correct. So this is useless for us for now. Okay. So actually, I just want to know the how to add the DB to. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So uh, that I will take care. Uh, some scripting will be required. Okay. So I will okay. share you one process note uh, with few SQL queries. Okay. So okay. that we will cover. It is not a big deal. Now, uh, so as of now, I will delete. As of now, I will be delete. Yeah, please delete, and uh, yeah. we will connect after uh, two hours, okay? Because I have a okay. call. Okay. So okay, no issue. So in the meantime, what will I do? I have created DDC one mm -hmm. and uh, created a Gen server. Yeah. Okay. Please create. Yes. A Gen server with uh, six GB, six GB memory, and DDC with five GB. Is it okay? Yeah, it will be fine. Okay, please create. Okay. Okay, once done, I will let you know after two hours. Yeah, please. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye.